Hello guys, welcome back to Life with Polly. I just wanted to say hello to everybody. It is Thursday, uh, July 8th, and I am currently in a tent right now with Annabelle. As you can see here, she's underneath the covers because she's cold. Um, Chihuahuas and Dotsons, they get very cold very easy, so she likes to be underneath the covers. It's about 67 degrees right now here in Kaksaki, New York. And we're in a tent because it's raining and pouring outside right now. As you can see, I got my tent set up um, still. And there's the doggies' water, fans, my coffee, my soda, my light. But today I wanted to do this video real quick because um, I've been having some major depression again. And I've been stressed and a lot of anxiety and I kind of wanted to get this out there for everyone and get your guys' opinions on it and try and see if I can get some uplifting comments in the comment section down below. And if you're suffering from like depression, anxiety, stress, um, and want someone or need someone to talk to, I would like you to comment down below. And I will definitely reply to you. We can also maybe contact each other by email. Um, that would be great if I can get to reach out to some people. Um, but if you know my story, if you don't know my story, you can go back and watch my story. Uh, I lived in my car for over a year, my 2007 Saturn Ion, and then I bought a tent to put outside in my daughter's property. Uh, my daughter don't own the property, she rents the property, and she works very hard for her money, her and her husband, and they're working all the time, Monday through Friday, they work from like 12 in the afternoon till 8 at night, today my daughter went to work at 12, she's going to be at work until 8 p.m. tonight, she might be there until 10, she's not sure. So, even though I live on my daughter's property, I don't really see her that much, and I don't get a lot of interaction with her, um, and it's been very depressing not to have no interaction with people, and not to have conversations with other people, and it's taking a toll on me, guys, it really is. Now, if you don't know, I'm in the process now of saving for a car, but my car that I got now, I needed to get inspected one more time. So I can save for a car. Um, I needed to get a lot of things fixed. And if you want to know about that. Go back on my previous videos. And watch my videos. Um, the last three months. I've had to spend a lot of money. $1,700 on fixing it. In order to get it inspected for one more year. The place that I wanted to get it inspected at. They even said it's probably only going to last another year. Because it's so rusted out on the bottom. I live in a, upstate New York. So salt in winter times are how harsh on cars. That's why I need another vehicle. Where I'm living right now I need a vehicle. There's no stores close. There's no places where I can really walk. Uh, my doctor's office I can't walk to and things like that. So I definitely need a car. Um, but I've been struggling again with a lot of depression and anxiety and things. And I do have an aunt that lives in PA and I have a brother that lives in Schenectady. And I mean, I talk to my brother on Facebook or whatever the case may be. Um, and, you know, I talk to him on Facebook and I talk to my aunt in PA on the phone. But it's still not the same as having interactions with other adults and other people. And it's just getting really depressing. So I've been thinking lately a lot about changing my life once I get a car, uh, which will be after winter time. I'm thinking the beginning of next summer, the end of winter, the beginning of next summer, trying to find a place where I can go and be and just be able to associate with other people. Now, I know there's a lot of people that are going to comment, well, you can go to churches, you can go to a homeless shelter and serve homeless people their lunch or their dinner, whatever the case may be. And yes, that's a great idea. Um, but there's issues with that, too. If you're going to a homeless shelter and you're feeding people, you know, you're helping people get their food at a homeless shelter, you know, that's not very long. Like, it's not... It's not something, 
I mean, you could do it every day, but I have the doggy here. I have a dog that I have to take care of and then I have to worry about. This is the most precious thing in my life right now. She is basically the only reason I'm living right now. Yeah, I have daughters and I love them. They love me, but they're all grown. They're on their own. They do their own things. My daughter, like I said, is working right now. She's going to be home tonight probably about 10 p.m., so I will not see her. And then at 4 a.m., she's leaving on vacation with her husband and one of her friends. She's leaving for vacation for three days. She's leaving until the 12th. Her birthday is August 10th. My oldest daughter will be 32, and she won't even be here. So I won't even get to see her on her birthday. And it gets depressing. Um, yes, I have the dog and I love her very much. And if I didn't have her, I probably would be dead right now. Um, because she's the only one that I got that I can, you know, talk to. I do talk to her, even though she's a dog and she can't talk back. I do talk to her and I play with her and, you know, keep her company. And she keeps me company and... She makes me feel important, you know, because I have to take care of her. I have to do things for her. I have to feed her. I have to take her out for walks and things like that. Um, so without her, I would definitely probably be gone already. Um, and I just, I need to make a change somehow. So, I've been thinking a lot, and I'm thinking about, uh, I live in, towards Catskill, New York. So they have a lot of campgrounds out here in, in the Catskills. They do have a couple campgrounds that are year-round, and I haven't called them yet, but I probably will. But I probably wait until the beginning of the next summer and call them and speak to them. Or maybe a family farm. So what I'm thinking is about calling a campground that is year-round and maybe getting a spot in a campground that is year-round and maybe getting a spot for free in exchange for work, for doing, you know, things around the campground. Not getting paid for the work, just getting a free spot in exchange for cleaning the bathrooms or you know, mowing the lawn, or whatever the case may be, or emptying trash, you know, cleaning up the campsites. That's what I'm thinking about doing, because then I would be able to have interaction with people. Um, if I'm helping the campground itself out, I will probably have interaction with the owners and be able to have somebody to talk to, be able to have somebody to lean on, and vice versa. Or maybe trying to find a family farm. I don't know if they have any family farms in Catskill, but I'm going to try to look up some family farms or, you know, a farm where they do... Um, different things, you know, and maybe getting just power using a little bit of their power in exchange for doing work on the farm. I don't mean live, actually, live with the family. Um, I mean live on their farm, a spot of my own on the farm, whether living in a tent or living in a car or a van, if I buy a van or an SUV or maybe I can even get an RV and park it on the farm and use a little bit of their power for free in exchange to clean out horse stalls or exchange to water their plants or do farming work for free. And... In the meantime, I would be able to interact with them and talk with them and lean on them and just have somebody there um, to make it less lonely, to make it less depression, you know, depressing. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Um, 
I don't know if it'll be exactly in New York. It might be another state. If I could find another state where a family farm would let me help out. Um, or a campsite that would let me help out for free in exchange for a spot or a little bit of power. I think that would be awesome. Um, and I'm sure that I would take up the opportunity to do that. Uh, lately, i just been so depressed and so lonely that I need to do something. You know, right now I feel I'm only living for my dog. And, I mean, my life has come to this, guys. Living in a tent by myself, all alone, every day, all day. No interaction. If you're unfamiliar with my channel, my family pretty much has been wiped out by cancer. My dad died years ago at the age of 56 of cancer. My One of my aunts died at the age of 41 of cancer. My mom died in February of 2022 of cancer. My other aunt in PA, she now has kidney cancer. She is 73. So cancer has pretty much wiped out my family. I have no family left. My friend, I mean my daughters, but that's it. And like I said, my daughters are growing. They're on their own. They work very hard for their money. My daughter is working right now. She works Monday through Friday from morning until night, so I could hardly ever see her. Her husband works the same hours all the time. And then on the weekend, they're gone Saturday and Sunday. They're married. You know, of course, they're going to go. They're going to spend time together, and they're going to go on vacation and things. Like I said, right now, she's working. It's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. She usually works on Friday. But she's leaving at 4 a.m. for vacation for a few days. And the 10th, August 10th, is her birthday, which is Saturday. Yeah, Saturday is her birthday. She won't even be here. She'll be gone on vacation. So I won't get to see her or talk to her. I will be here by myself alone thinking about what she's doing on her birthday and things like that. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to put this out there to everybody because, you know, let me tell you something. If you think you can live alone and you think you can live with no friends, if you think you can live with no interaction with others, if you think you can live without leaning on someone or having someone lean on you, you are totally wrong. After a while, it gets to you. What do you call that? Monotonous or something like that? It gets monotonous after a while. Whatever that word is. After a while, it really gets to you and it's been really getting to me. Sure, I got Annabelle here and I love her to death and I would be lost without her. Um, but I need some interaction with people. I need some, somebody to lean on. I need somebody that can lean on me. Um, I want to have fun. I want to be happy for whatever time I got left. I have a very bad heart because I had a heart attack in 2021. Uh, I don't have a good infraction rate, which means my heart's not pumping enough blood for my organs, really. I get tired a lot, um, sleepy a lot, I have diabetes type 2, I have high blood pressure. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I have a lot of health issues, but, you know, and at first I thought I wanted to be alone and I wanted to be away from everybody, but it's not really a life to live. It's not really how you want to live your life, and that's not how I want to live my life. So I have to make a change. Now, it might not be until next summer, of course, because winter's coming up soon here in October. New York will start getting cold for the winter, and it won't get warm out here again until May. 
um, sometimes April. So that's what I'm going to be looking forward to and doing. But please, if you have any uplifting comments, I know you guys put them in the comments down below before. You can put them down in the comments down again. If you want to tell me your story or you're in the same predicament I'm in and you want to tell your story, you can always leave it in the comments section down below. And I will always answer your comments. Um, maybe we can exchange emails. I will try to put my email in the description down below. And if you would like to email me, um, you can. Uh, if you do email me though, I would still like you to leave a comment on my video. So I know you emailed me because sometimes I don't get my emails. Um, and if you let me know in the comment section down below I can really check the email to make sure that I get your email if you would like to do that um, thank you for all the people that have subscribed to me and been subscribed to me and I love you all very much and thank you for all the uplifting comments on my other videos thank you for the support thank you for watching my videos you know trucker wife uh, Retro Stephanie, Save Here First Ella, thank you all for watching my videos and leaving comments on my videos. I greatly appreciate that. You are my friends, and I thank you for reaching out to me and keeping in contact with me and giving me ideas and uplifting comments. I thank you guys so much for that. Trucker Wife, Retro Stephanie, uh, save here first Princess Ella uh, Judy May Collins she's another one her and her dog Jax thank you so much and I will see you in my next video